Shuichi, I mean Kokichi, I, it makes sense that you would be able to rely on Shuichi, but when I when I said Kokichi instead, I was like, mm, that's what it says, but my brain doesn't think that's right. I don't think you can rely on that boy. <laughs> Say Xavier on this year of the horizon, bring you another installment of this summer zone. Don Gone Olympic Hunger Games. And we got a fun one. We got handball. And I bet you some of you have probably never heard of handball before. Before the Olympics, I think two years or two times ago, I had never heard of handball. I was like, what is handball? That's not football or European football. What is handball? It is an Olympic sport. It is, I think, the, the largest. Uh, played on the largest indoor court of any indoor uh, ball game in the Olympics. Interesting. If you if you want to look up handball, go look it up. At first, it kind of looks like they're playing dodgeball, but they're not. It's just it's it's wacky, and I it, it's one of my favorite Olympic sports now for some reason. But here we are. We have all sorts of handballs, and instead of just throwing balls, they'll be throwing axes. I thought that that was that was a pretty good substitution, right? Yeah, dangerous maybe. Yeah. Let's introduce everybody who's here today. Our handball teams we have representing Dong and Rapa One: Celeste, Junko, Leon. Mondo, Sakura, and freaking Sayaka. Representing Don Gon Rampa 2, we have Gundam Tanaka, the Supreme Overlord of Ice, Nagito, Nakamaru, Pekka, Sonya, and Azuru. And representing Don Gon Rampa V3, we have Kokichi, the ultimate supreme leader who's going to hopefully lead his team to victory with Gonta, Shuichi, Ryoma, Rantaro, and Kaede. Kaede very, very strong history of throwing, rolling balls, doing some... She's wild. Asylum Akamatsu, please. Ultra Despair Girls. We have Komaru, Genocide Jack, Yuta, Hiroko, Masaru, and Nagisa. Danganronpa 3. We have Izayori, Chisa, The Great Gozu, Tengen, Kizakura, and Ruruka. And lastly, you know what we have to do. We got our six OCs, and representing the OCs today. First up, it is Daiki Kazuma. You guys know Daiki by now. Created by Ames Bear, the ultimate undergoer. Likes gaming, psychology, chocolate. Dislikes untidiness and the outdoors, but luckily this is an indoor sport, so Daiki could thrive today. We have Somena Shirai. And Somena, let me tell you, first of all, classy little design is created by Banana Girl, the ultimate puzzle maker, loves puzzle boxes, and dislikes being rushed. There will be no rushing in this one. You can take your time to try and win this handball competition, so may not. It's created by, I already said Banana Girl, so we can keep on keeping on to Shiori, another Shiori. I think this is our, like, technically our third Shiori. One person had a Shiori as a last name. Shiori Ashita and Asha, and this Shiori is created by uh, Sensei, the ultimate Cartomancer, which is one of, <laughs> one of, in terms of like the new people, the new OCs who were just submitted, one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite talents, ultimate Cartomancer. We have her liking black cats, playing cards, mythology, dislikes hospitals, and skepticism, which also when I was putting this together, I was like, huh, we spell skepticism with the K, and then I think... Canada spells it with a C. So I left it with a C and I was like, huh, that's really interesting. That's something I did not know. So thank you for that gem of knowledge. Moving on to a familiar face, we have Naoki Kato and Naoki, created by Hazel Jasper, or Jesper rather, the ultimate radio host, loves talking with interesting people, flirting, and himself, but dislikes being ignored. People who can see through his manipulative side, can he manipulate his way to the top spot though? Can he get the gold medal in handball? We'll have to wait and see. But you know who was also vying for this position? It's Chase Owens. Chase is back, and let me tell you, Chase, the one and only 
ultimate liar created by Thomas. Likes soda, dislikes dog food. I, I, I guess he's not shaggy from Scooby-Doo, so I, I wouldn't imagine he would enjoy dog food. There's like a jelly bean that's, that, that tastes like dog food. It's disgusting if that's what dogs are eating. But more power to them. Who doesn't love a good pooch? Welcome back to Chase Owens. And last but not least, we have your boy. It is Eli Payton, created by the Big Ben Benjamin himself, the ultimate quarterback, who dislikes football, so maybe he'll like handball. <laughs> but also loves mystery novels. Big note. Murder on the Despair Express coming up. This is where Eli will be featured. This is where he will shine. But today he will be shining in this handball competition because that's everyone who we have today. And I actually have Yeah, I have some questions. Tell me who you think is going to get first by commenting. Tell me who you think is going to get second. Before you tell me who you're going to get third, go and like and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> like the video and subscribe. But if you have, go and tell me who you're going to get third. Who do you think would do the best in handball? Do you know anything about handball? Who do you think would do the best in handball of the people who are here today and... In fact, the last thing, that's what I was thinking about. Pick an extra pick and make that pick the person who's here that you least often pick to take the win. That'll be your last pick. So someone who you, you never you either so you don't root for or someone you just would hate to have win, make that your extra pick. I want that. I'd like to see that. I, that's something different for the comments, I tell you what. But while you guys do that... I think we can just... I think I can just make my picks. I, this is the last episode, after today, all the secret... Secret secrets for the secret episode will be in place. There's nothing on the first two episodes, so you don't need to worry about that. But the other ten, oh boy, because we were 12 episodes in, maybe I've said too much. If you don't know where they are, I don't know. It's all in the cards now. You might want to keep an eye on the situation, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm picking first, I'm picking Nekamaru. He hasn't won in a long time, so I'm going for Nekamaru today. If I'm going for second, give me Yuta. He got second yesterday, I think? Yeah. Give me Yuta. Was it yesterday? No, it was like a week ago. What happened yesterday? It's not technically out for you guys yet, because I'm the power of recording, right? I don't remember. I actually don't remember, like, anything about yesterday. That's gonna be- Tell me what happened yesterday, too. <laughs> I remember enjoying doing yesterday's recording. But I don't, I don't remember what happened at all. Give me Yuta for second, and give me Chisa for third. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I want. That is what I want. And in terms of people, I don't even need to answer that question. I would pick Sayaka. But... I never really root. For Shuichi, surprisingly enough. So I'm gonna go Shuichi. Give me Shuichi for this one. But for right now, we can tone it down. Because we're not rolling today. And we're not spinning today. Which means we can just go ahead and proceed. Huh. Yeah, everyone's got access. We can just go ahead. That's nuts. That's so different. Alright, well, I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead. Let's go for it. As we start round one. Oh, no. Oh, poor baby. Don't forget, we have bonus points that can be obtained, but let me tell you. I think I... What, I always say something really nice about one of the OCs every time. And then they just die real early. It's bittersweet. But there's no podiums. There are tributes. And there are axes, and someone might go axe crazy. Can we please sound the horns? Sound the horns! Excellent. Kiza Curry spots something shiny in the distance. Celeste thinks of a dark, dark poem. Shiori can't take her eyes off of Naoki. Um, Sonya just wants to be helpful. Junko whispers some things in Leon's ears, but Leon is a bit too innocent to understand. Did not expect that, Leon. Shiori challenges Izioi to a duel. Izioi bites the dust. Nagito seems unshaken by any of this. Eli, man, oh, attempts to kill Sakura. 
but Mondo intervenes just in time. Mondo had to kill Eli to protect Sakura's life. The OC's already down too. They lost the first two people, jeez. Kama- <laughs> Gosh darn it. I, I'm looking at Komaru and then I look down and it's Azuru Kamakura. Gosh darn it. Komaru's being adorable as always. Uh, so Mena is ready to use her axe if she has to. Hopefully she'll use it. Kokichi tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake. Shuichi chops Azuru to bits with his axe. Forsaken again, but that does mean Shuichi once again this season might be the first person to get bonus points twice. Now let's just play this out. Shuichi, bonus points! Good on that boy. Five bonus points to him. This is also an interesting one because there are events with the axe that you can get two, so someone might take up ten bonus points. Mondo feels strong enough to handle anything. Roko tries to get others to notice her. Peko finds some other scraps just enough to become the Cave Swords person Leon. Admires Mondo's leadership in an act of betrayal. Ruka and Ten can team up and eliminate the Great Goza. You nasties. You nasties. Everyone's targeting Sakura, and luckily Gundam actually gets it off before freaking Sayaka can react. Freaking Sayaka rushes to help, but Sakura dies in her arms. Daiki thinks about what he did to end up here. Chisa eats something she shouldn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains. Gonta doesn't go prepare for any of this. Nagisa. Is thinking of plans to get out of here. Tengen and Ruka conspire against Kizakura. You guys are just going to be conspiring the whole game, aren't you? You nasties. Kaede is glad she can rely on Shuichi. I mean, Kokichi. I, it makes sense that you would be able to rely on Shuichi, but when I when I said Kokichi instead, I was like, mm, that's what it says, but my brain doesn't think that's right. I don't think you can rely on that boy. Masu rambles on about something nobody cares about. Yuta and Komaru's fingers touched by action, they will blush a little bit. Yuta, this is like the 19th time this season that you've cheated on Mew. Freaking Sayak just wants it to be over already. Ryoma finds... Huh. Finds Gonta's presence soothing. Nakamaru goes axe crazy if only he did it first, chopping Celeste and Junko to bits. Rest in peace to the squad. It's just a, that's a whole squad right there. That's Nakamaru... Look, if, if someone's gonna kill the squad, I'm glad it was the squad. Naoki. Is ready to use his axe if he has to. Genocide Jack is looking particularly erratic today. Chase Owens tries to kill Nagito, but his BS luck retaliates and kills Chase instead. Rest in peace, and Rantaro can't stop fawning over Kaede. We lost nine. Nine people gone. That is, what, a quarter of the competition, isn't it? Jeez. Can we get a Claire? Day Loon 4. Shiori. Eli. Azuru. The Great Gozu. Sakura, Chisa, Celeste, Junko, Chase, Nine Gone, once again a quarter of the competition, and I think three OCs, right? One, two, three, three people from Danganronpa 1, two people from the anime, and one person from Danganronpa 2, which means Ultra Despair Girls are holding out tough right now, they're going strong right now, but that can all change. That can all change with a single click of the next round. But will it? I think we have to click it and find out. We have to click it and proceed. We have to click it and say at the top, Oof! Gosh, Nakamaru, my gosh! <laughs> round two, Rantaro does his best to avoid Kokichi. Ruruka can't wait to kill again. Nakamaru manages to sneak attack Somena and Daiki, murdering them both. Unfortunately, he did not use his axe to do it somehow. Rest in peace to those two. Team OC, I think, is down to, like, their last person. My gosh. Sony thanks Peko for being there for Gundam attacks... Oh, Gundam attacks Gonda from behind and murders him. Nagisa is proud to lead Ultra Despair Girls, and they have not lost a single person. Kizakura and Ruka team up to ambush Sonya, slaughtering her. You... Okay, well, I keep thinking... DR3 is low-key working together really well, even though... It's some questionable teamwork. <laughs> Shuichi finds a pseudomedial armor and he has a, uh, he's now a cave, no, he's a knight detective, solving everything while glistening in some shiny knight's armor. Masu tries to kill Shuichi, Shuichi's knight armor diverts the blow, Komaru just wants it to end already, Yuta finds a dapper suit and puts it on, it's quite fetching. Izzy always spots him too shiny in the distance, Leon fails to grasp the gravity of the situation, Naoki finds a pitchfork which he figures is great for lobbying enemies. Hiroko chops Ryoma to bits with her axe, my ride. Or die. But that does mean, for Ultra Despair Girls, Hiroko Ness, five big bonus points. And onward, Tengen feels horrible for failing DR3. Saika has a blank expression and seems unresponsive to what's going on. Good, stay that way. Keep your guard off. 
Pekka was wearing leather scraps and decided to behold Kaye Day. Wishes she could go home. Kokichi sees Danganronpa V3 as a chumps ready, a bunch of chumps ready to be milked. Nagito won't die like the others. Mondo has made some mistakes as a leader, but wants to do right by Trigger Happy Havoc and Genocide Jack can't take it anymore and snaps Masaru's neck. Oh no. Oh yikes. That's another six gone. My goodness gracious. Can we get, first of all, a Clear Day Loon 4? Somena. Daiki. Gonta. Sonya. Ryoma. Masaru. And now, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at everybody. We have 21 people left, and that includes 4 from Danganronpa 3 right now. V3 also has 4. Danganronpa 2 has 4. Danganronpa 1 is struggling a little bit more with 3. Ultra Despair Girls has only lost Masaru, and that's because of someone on their team. Freaking Jack. <laughs> Apparently it was too annoying to live, poor boy. And the OC is really struggling. They only have Naoki. Which is good for the other teams, but poor OC is they had that lead. They can't lose that lead. I mean, they can lose They could lose that lead this episode, actually. Huh. Because Danganronpa 2 is only 35 points. Uh huh. Interesting. Interesting. But we can't speculate. We have to proceedulate. Not a word. But it is now. Let's go on. Let's click next round. And let's see what's going on at the start of round 3. Nagisa reminisces about his fellow warrior of hope and sobs quietly. Naoki is like, you know what? I might be the last OC, but I'ma do my best and go strong for them. Lobs his pitchfork at Kokichi. The most dangerous man in these games. The most... The, the, the most decorated man in these games. Next to, like, maybe... Nobody, actually. It's Kokichi all day. Killing him instantly. Tengen is looking for an easy out. Pekka was ready to defend her friend's genocide. Jack is on the verge of snapping. Nagi's toe sets down a trap. Kaye, Day, is being adorable as always. And of course, Komaru gets caught in one of Nagito's traps, which is pretty much like all of Ultra Despair Girls. Huh. <laughs> Nakamaru tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake. Leon admires Mondo's muscles. Please don't get silver today, Mondo. Now that I'm thinking out loud. Please don't. <laughs> Ruka's looking out only for herself, classic. Chase is gone. Sayaka just wants it to end already. It can end, just go ahead and do it. Izioi attempts to kill Pekko, but Nakamaru intervenes just in time. Nakamaru had to kill our boy Izioi to protect Pekko's life. Not today, Izioi, not today. Hiroko finds Komaru caught in a trap and manages to free her. Gundam thinks of a dark, dark poem. Rantaro twiddles his thumb. Sonya's gone. Shuichi finds a shotgun. My goodness. Mondo sizes his muscles. Yuta can't believe that Hiroko has killed someone and Kizakura kills Rantaro in front of Shuichi where Shuichi rushes to help that there's nothing uh, that he can do and Rantaro dies in his arms. How sad. Yeah, no axe kills, so no bonus points that round actually. We are halfway through. 18 gone, 18 remain. But, a Claire de Lune for only three and those three are. Kokichi. Izioi. Rantaro. And that's two gone for V3, which sucks for them, but they have five bonus points, so it still sucks for them. But this does mean we could we could still see a clean sweep from somebody. The odds are not really in our favor yet. There's still half of the competitors to go. But we have to get through those half. Eight more until it's saving grace picks time. Not like yesterday when I was thoroughly confused because I thought it was 32 instead of 36. Let's go on. Let's proceed. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, my goodness gracious. Next round. It's round four. Will there be any more axes? No, but there will be despair for one team, because one team's completely out. Nakisa, ask you if he's found anything useful. Like, his wedding ring to Mew, because, I don't know, he seems like he's ditched that thing, if I'm being completely honest this season. Tengen finds a lovely bikini and puts it on. It's quite revealing. Shuichi starts sobbing uncontrollably. Naoki. Wonders how far he could throw his pitchfork. Pekko finds a sword, shiny and sharp, a rather nice find. Rather nice indeed. Oh boy. Scrolling down. Oh my boys. Nagito is ready to use his axe if he has to. Naoki challenges Gundam to a duel. Naoki bites the dust. Rest in peace to Naoki. The last hope for the OCs. Leon hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone, but here we go. Kaede, or should we say, 
Specifically, Asylum Akamatsu goes axe crazy, chopping Nekamaru and Gundam to bits. And because of the special rules, not just five points, but because there's two KOs, it's ten big bonus points. I'm sorry, ten big bonus points for Kaye Day, aside from Akamatsu. Kizakura can't take his eyes off of Ruka. Izzy always been gone for one round, and y'all are already after Ruka Yuta. And Komaru's fingers touch by accident, they both blush a little bit. Komaru recalls something about Monster Moon stops quietly. Ruka tries to get others to notice her. Mondo is not a big fan of <laughs> Kizakura eyeballing Ruka and takes Kizakura out with his axe. If only you were one sooner, you could have gotten bonus points for them. Uh, freaking Saika sobs quietly. Hiroko twiddles her thumbs, and Genocide Jack's bad brain turns her into an absolute pain to deal with. We lost four, four more. And it'll be your final ten, and you know what that means. First of all, let's not say what that means. Let's say it's a Claire de Lune 4. Naoki. Nakamaru. Gundam Tanaka. Kizakura. Four down, four to go, really 13 to go. But we'll take one quick peek before the saving grace picks. Shuichi and Kaede, the lone two for V3. The only two who have gotten points for the team, and right now, they've gotten 15 points, which is really spectacular. It's like someone from V3 has already placed second place because of them. Um, Danganronpa 2 has Nagito and Peko, just two as well. Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls is the team that could sweep because they've only lost one soul and it is because of someone on their team. <laughs> the OCs are gone, Danganronpa 1 has Leon, Mondo, and Freaking Sayaka could technically also sweep today, and Danganronpa 3 has Tengen and Ruruka. It would be a shame if Tengen won, but you know Danganronpa 3, they need some points back. They do need some points back, but we can't just wonder. We have to keep going. There's four more people left until the saving grace picks, and boy do I need one because Nekamaru, you let me- you didn't let me down. My jinx let you down. Let's go on. Let's hope I didn't jinx anybody else. As we click next round, as we proceed onward, to Suhuki. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mondo eats something you shouldn't have and dies from horrible stomach pains. No silver medal for you today. Genocide Jack rambles on about something that nobody cares about. Leon fails to continue to grasp the gravity of the situation. Komaru thanks Yuta for being there for her. You might want to do some better thank you because it did not end well for you as Kaede tries to kill Nagisa, but Nagisa retaliates and kills her instead. Nagito attempts to kill Genocide Jack, but Komaru intervenes to protect her. Unfortunately, Komaru dies in the attempt. Komaru, no. <laughs> Naiege, no. <laughs> Oh, Ruruka ambushes Peko and kills her. Is that the four that we needed? That's the four that we needed, but is it all the four that we have? It's the only four that we have. Hiroko's ready to use her axe if she has to. Does that mean... No, no. Ultra Despair Girls did lose one. Um, Nagisa's thinking of plans to get out of here. Tengen can't wait to kill again. Freaking Saika just wants it to end already, and Shuichi sobs quietly. Not quietly, actually. Very loudly and completely uncontrollably. <laughs> Which means... We're at your final ten. We lost the four that we needed. Can we get... A Claire de Lune. Four. Mondo. Kaye. Day. Koma. Ru. Pe. Ko. <laughs> I'm goofing. And we didn't get any axe skills this day either, did we? And that's a shame. That is a big shame. But you know what's not a shame? Everyone who's left here has done wonderful enough to make it into the top ten. Unlike my picks, and unlike probably some of your picks, it's time to cast our, 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 our bad RNG aside and make way for some good RNG, because it is time for your Saving Grace Picks. Let's look at the info, let's look at the details. Danganronpa 3 still has Tengen and Ruruka. The OCs are all gone, unfortunately. Danganronpa 2 still has Nagito. Could his luck come clutch? Could he get a fan vote for you guys? A legitimate fan vote. Ultra Despair Girls still has four people, still could sweep, technically. Danganronpa V3 now only has Shuichi, the lone detective standing strong, and Danganronpa 1 only has Leon and Sayaka. Interesting combination of two that were in main for their handball team. 
that's a lot of folks who are left. Tell me, who do you got? Go into the comments, edit your comment, reply to a comment, do whatever you have to do in the comments of the comments and the commenty things. Let me know. Who do you got? Saving Grace picks gold, silver, and bronze. I'll tell you mine, because I already know. You just get in first place. I cast aside what I said earlier. He's getting first. I'm sticking with him. Um, I said second last time. He's getting first this time. I got Hiroko in second. In fact, I do have the sweep. I have the sweep going on for Danganronpa 3. I mean, uh, Ultra Despair Girls, not Danganronpa 3. Genocide Jack is getting third, is what I was going to say. The bronze medal. Three, third, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got Yuta. I got Hiroko. And I got Jack. Those are mine. Are they yours as well? Hopefully not, because I probably jinxed those three poor unfortunate souls. But I think it's time. <sighs> it is Tengen. It is Ruruka. It is Nagito. It is Yuta. It is Hiroko. It is Genocide Jack. And it is Nagisa. It is Shuichi. It is Leon. And it's freaking Sayaka! Oh, I don't like that. Everyone except for freaking Sayaka, I know for a fact, is beating with the heart of a samurai woman. Freaking Sayaka's beating with the heart of a backstabber and a traitor. Let's go into the next round! <laughs> Let's proceed. Ooh, it's the start of round six. Leon hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. You might have to. Hiroko wants to end things once and for all with Tengen, but Tengen bites the dust. Ruka's now all alone, and she's looking out only for herself because that's the only person she can look out for right now. Yuta's ready to defend his friends. Genocide Jack is frenzied, which could actually spell disaster for Ultra Despair Girls. Freaking Sayaka is on the verge of her nervous breakdown. Shuichi has a blank expression and seems unresponsive to what go, uh, what's going on. You two need to get yourselves together. Nagito, uh, Nagito tries to kill Shuichi, but luckily, even though he's just standing there unresponsive to what's going on, his knight's armor saves him. That's the power of the knight's armor, let me tell you. And Nagisa feels horrible for failing ultra despair. Girls! We only lost one. The one that you all probably wanted to see go, besides, you know... You know... <laughs> But there's some people who like Sayaka. There's not a lot of people who like the person who faced a terrible, terrible turnabout today. Four. Tengen. A tough time for the the mastermind boy for V from not V3. Ooh, ooh, that would have been a big change of face from the anime. We lost. Just one. We have nine to go, and those nine are still standing strong. Those nine are still going strong with the heart of a samurai woman. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go for it. <sighs> Round seven. Lucky seven. And it looks not lucky for everyone, actually. Genocide Jack looks around maniacally, seething Yuta. Looks amazing in his dapper suit. In fact, it looks so unlucky for me. Gosh, darn it. Shuichi starts sobbing uncontrollably, Sayaka does the exact same thing, Leon wonders about the future! Komaru's lifeless body desiccates peacefully, Nagito won't give up so easily, Nagisa has made some mistakes as a leader but wants to do right by Ultra Despair Girls. Speaking of, Veruka, who's looking out only for herself, ambushes two of my picks, Hiroko and Yuta. There will be no sweep today as Tengen's lifeless body de de decomposes peacefully. Yuta, Hiroko, you let me down, Jack, it's up to you. <laughs> And you too, Nagisa, I guess. Because we're down to the final seven. Round seven, unlucky seven, especially for me, a terrible turnabout for my picks. Hiroko. Yuta. <sighs> Leon and Sayaka. Genocide Jack and Nagisa. Just Shuichi, just Ruruka, and just Nagito are your final seven. Who's gonna win this thing? I don't know. <laughs> I never do. And the fact that we are a one in seven chance of being freaking Zayaka is not a, not a fun time, not a good time. But you know what? I have the heart of a samurai woman. Alright, I'll go with it. 
And that heart is telling me that Saika's gonna get gone this round. It's not a prediction. It, it's almost a spoiler, hopefully. <laughs> round eight, Nagito chops Nagisa to bits with his axe. Maybe I just jinxed all of Ultra Despair Girls. Maybe that was my bad. But Genocide Jack's frenzy finally dies down, which is good for her. No heart attack for her. Leon doesn't understand what's happening. Not really. Freaking Saika doesn't want to carry on anymore. Freaking Saika's now suicidal, which is actually very sad. I won't, I won't, I won't laugh about that one. Shuichi has a blank expression and seems unresponsive to what's going on, and Ruruka doesn't care much for this place. We lost one. One lost. The blue boy. The bluest of all boys. Can we get? A terrible turnabout for Ultra Despair Girls, but they're still in. They're still holding down the fort. A, a terrible turnabout. Four. Nagisa. And I will say, it's been a hot minute since we've played <laughs> Samurai Woman so much. Because we still technically have six people in, so they still are beaten with the heart of a samurai woman. Nagi 2, Genocide Jack, Leon, Freaking Sayaka, Shuichi, and Ruruka. Still going strong. Heart still pounding strong with the heart of a samurai woman. But the next time there's a music change, it'll be a crisis of fate. But that's not now. Right now we have to peacefully go on to the next round and see if... Ruruka, what on earth? First of all, Ruka goes axe crazy chopping Leon and freaking side could have bits. My gosh, Ruka, that was nuts! That was absolutely glorious! <sighs> it was crazy, my gosh. And then let's not forget to mention, as the samurai woman continues again, Gundam's gone, but Nagito tries to kill Ruka after she's just crazed after what just happened, but she retaliates and gets rid of him too. And definitely Shakira's points for Dong on Rampa 3. Because Celeste is gone, Genocide Jack is now a cave woman, and Shuichi's just been pouting this whole game. <laughs> Not the whole game, but a good chunk of this game. We lost half of those six, which means we're now down to the medalist, the guaranteed medalist, after a turnabout, a, a Ruruka turnabout, an absolute confectioner turnabout for. Leon. Freaking Sayaka. Nagito. Yeah, Ruka's really padding out that kill stat this time. Really padding out that kill stat. She's also not gotten a win, so this could be her time to shine. It could be her time to be, but hopefully I did not just jinx her. It is now between her, Genocide Jack, and Shuichi. Those three are caught in what I like to call a crisis. A fate. Who doth go there? Who doth win? Who doth survive? <sighs> I will say, Danganronpa 3, or I'm sorry, Danganronpa B3 has earned some major points today because of Shuichi and Kaede. Shuichi's about to cash in some more points for them. And they already, at this moment in time, they have at least 15. They have 15 guaranteed. Guaranteed on wherever Shuichi finishes, they have 15 added to that because of Kaede getting two KOs with the axe, and Shuichi getting a KO with the axe, which is nuts, which means they are actually going to skyrocket quite a bit. That is actually super duper important for them. So let's go on and see how many more points they get as we click next round and see. We'll just be that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shuichi. It's the start of round 10. Eli's gone. It's a shame because Shuichi wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Genocide Jack calms down for good, no longer the subject of the whims of a changing brain. She's now settled down. Does that mean that she's now stuck in Genocide Jack mode? Have we lost Toko forever? Huh. Oh. Huh. Kokichi's gone, and Uruka's ready to use that axe if she has to. She might have to, especially now that we have to say it's been a not really a terrible turnabout for Shuichi because he got them some big points this time. In fact, they've cracked 100 because of Kaede and Shuichi, but still, they could have gotten more points, so it's a terrible, terrible turnabout for 
Shuichi. But we have to face something a little bit more important. I have to ask you guys, just who will it be? Who? 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 <laughs> who? Genocide Jack. A ringer in these games. Someone who shocked the system in Season 3. Or will it be Ruruka? Someone who has never won a game. Someone who represents a team who lacks a lot of wins in this series, but... After today's performance, you gotta kind of be rooting for her. Who's it going to be? Genocide Jack. Ruruka. Genocide Jack. Ruruka. Jack, Ruruka. Genocide Jack, Ruruka. Jack, Ruruka. Jack, Ruruka. Jack, Ruru. We're neither right now <laughs> because Naoki's gone. Ruruka finds a dapper suit and puts it on. It does nothing for her, but it's really fetching. And Genocide Jack looks like she's on the verge of snapping once again. Uh oh. She's wearing leather scraps to Genocide Jack, though. It's a sight to behold, and Ruruka can't wait to kill again. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Genocide Jack catches a glow in the corner of her eyes and discovers an ancient scepter. Arcane magic courses through her body as her fingers touch the carved wood. And Ruka seems unshaken by that. She is not fearful of what happened here. And with the next round, we can see that she didn't have to be. Because she knew that it was her time to shine. That it was her time to be. As Genocide Jack was polishing that ancient scepter which has won people game after game after game. Genocide Jack challenged Ruruka to a duel, holding her ancient scepter high and mighty but somehow, some way, Ruruka prevails and Genocide Jack bites the dust. Which means after an intense battle, after holy heck Ruruka, after a terrible turnabout. Four. Genocide Jack. What can I say? <laughs> Honestly, you might not love Ruka, but after a game like that, you kind of had to be rooting for her. Hold on, just hit it because your winner, representing Don Gon Rampa 3. Ruruka, finally, with nine kills, takes her big win. Okay, all right. <laughs> what on earth? Ruruka with nine. She took out those three, and then did she take out? No, Shuichi got lost. But she took out so many of like the last ten, if I'm being completely honest. Nekamaru had 5 KOs, Nagito had 3, Gundam had 3, Kaede had 2, and those 2 got her 10 bonus points, which actually really helped out Danganronpa V3. In fact, they are, I'll say in a second, that shot them up. Um, Kizakura with 2, Mondo with 2, Hiroko with 2, everyone else with 1. Or less. First of all, congrats, finally, to Ruruka. Bring it on up. Singles bracket. She came in clutch. She made it. I'm proud of her. She shocked the system. This game, she shocked the system. After she got those three in a row, I was like, she kind of deserves this one. <laughs> All in one day? She deserved it. She was going off. Nine. Nuts. But also, the, the bracket, not the bracket, what am I talking about? The scoreboard. There we go. Donald Rumble won. You're falling behind again because you're starting to not. <laughs> let me not. Let me not say that. Yesterday they got points, but this time they're struggling again. <laughs> they're stuck at 85, and now they are back in last. <laughs> Don Rampa two staying at 100. They didn't get any points today, but Don and Rampa three got 25, which brings them up thanks to Ruruka from tied to last to breaking 100. And they are now tied with Danganronpa 2. Danganronpa V3 got 25 points, bringing them from 80 
to 105, shooting them all the way up to second place. <laughs> they are now only 30, uh, 30 points away from Team OC, who are in first place, who didn't get any points this episode. Ultra Spare Girls did get a nice 20 points because of Genocide Jack and Hiroko, bringing them from 75 to 95. So, once again, because the OCs didn't earn any points this week, it's a really tight race. <laughs> It is 30 points, which means the tides could change in a single episode for pretty much everyone except for Donnarumma 1 unless they pull off some dramatic bonus points too, which is possible. Which is possible because we've seen it, because they did it <laughs> with Ruruka, not uh, Ruruka, with freaking Sayaka. Um, yeah, just nuts. That was actually really nuts. I can't say anything else other than... Good job, Veruca. You earned that one. You really did. We'll go back to... Yeah, team setup? Yeah, team setup. Everything's good? Yeah, everything's good. Go back to the team setup. Here we are. Let's look at these OCs who are here today. Daiki, honestly, good. it's a fun talent. It's an interesting talent. There's a lot you can do with the uh, ultimate undergoer. Uh... I think I, I think I already said, <laughs> I've said this a million and a half times, so main, uh, so main up. That hair color, <laughs> I don't know what it is, about like the, 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 like, the, the, the light blue green tealish hair color, it's good, it's so good. Shiori, I already said, hands down, one of my favorite talents of the new OCs who are in here, Cartomancer, top notch. Um, Naoki's just, I don't know why, it just gives me throwback vibes to The Sims, and I'm, I, I enjoy playing The Sims. The Sims was, uh, I wouldn't say it was my childhood, but it was a fun game. It's, it's just, The Sims are always fun. Chase Owens, the ultimate liar. We all know which victory I hold close to my heart, and that's Kokichi's first one, because that was my first correct per <laughs> prediction. So, you know what, I, I don't know, one liar, I, one liar, I can't, I can't say anything bad about that, I, I mean, that's a good talent if I have to say so myself. <laughs> and then we have Eli, I really like the, uh, the concept of just people who have ultimate talents who don't like their ultimate talents, the ultimate quarterback who hates football, but likes mystery novels, so I think that that's an interesting dynamic. I think that's a super interesting dynamic, and I think that could be a lot of fun, but that's this. That's that. And now, it's all in the eyes, it's all in the cards, everything is set up, everything is solved? Not solved. You'll have to do some solving. Stay classic. Year of the Horizon. Tune in. Dave, United States Aviator, taking off. Nothing else? Nothing else? Hearts, minds, clear. <laughs> Stay classy. Year of the Horizon. We're halfway through. This is 12 out of 24. I guess technically 26 because of the finales. But in actual before finale stuff, we're halfway through. Which is nuts. And the scores are so close. Which is what I was hoping for. Because <laughs> I didn't really want someone to like pull pull away. Because right now it's so tight. <laughs> it's really tight. And I actually really enjoy that. Um, stay classy. Toodle it. Flag crew. Thank you for watching.